Hi, welcome to this tutorial series of the Apollo client. We're going to learn Apollo in a hands-on way by building this Pokedex app. So in the completed app, you'll be able to view existing Pokemon, delete or update them, add new ones, and also paginate through the Pokemon that you have. So we're going to start by downloading an example project, and inside the example project will be a series of exercise folders. These exercise folders reflect all the different chapters available, where each chapter deals with a concept and also the implementation of a certain part of the app. As we go through the chapters in sequence, we'll end up with a finished app. You can also see that we have these so-called tracks on the left-hand sidebar. So we have React Native Vanilla, or we also just have React, and these tracks are essentially the same version of the tutorial, but dealing with Apollo and a different UI framework. So if you want to learn how to use Apollo with React, you can select a React track, if you want to learn how to use Apollo with React Native, you can select a React Native track, etc. One last thing before we get started. Once you've signed in via GitHub, you'll see this GraphQL server button appear. What this is, is our own GraphQL backend. So if I click this, I have this data browser panel that shows me all of the data on my backend right now. So a series of Pokemon nodes. And in the GraphQL panel, I have a way of querying that data. So I've already defined a query down here, and if I press the play button, I can see the result of that query on the right hand side. As well as this, if I add a new field, you can see that I actually have autocomplete directly inside. I can also refer to the docs by clicking this button and clicking query to see all the different queries available to me and all the mutations. This just speeds things up a lot and makes it so much easier for us to get started without having to worry about setting up our own GraphQL backend. Hopefully all of this has gotten you excited about learning Apollo, so hopefully see you in the next video where we talk about how to set up this project on a local machine. Thanks for watching.